Good evening, everybody. Welcome to day 67 of my carnivore diet. Um, you'll notice that I, well, the keen eye of you will notice that I missed an update yesterday. It's my first one after 66 or 60 in 66 days. Um, the reason that I missed it is simply because I was out really, really late in London last night. And by the time I got home, everyone was asleep. And I live in a, we live in a fairly small house. But anyway, where my, my room is, that I do this recording is right next to everybody's bedrooms. And I didn't want to come in and make a bunch of noise and everything else. So I literally just kind of had to sneak in the house, not wake anyone up. And um, plus it was really late at night and I just, it was, it was just too late. But um, anyway, so I apologize for that. I wanted to do one every single day, but sometimes life gets in the way. And anyway, we're back on track. So I have a couple of days to update on. Um, yesterday, I was, like I said, I was out. I was out all day um, at an event in London, and which was fine, actually. So when I went in in the morning, I actually stopped off at McDonald's. I had a couple of um, double sausage and egg McMuffins and uh, just taking the McMuffins off, which was a, a great way to start the day. So I was pretty much full most of the day. I didn't really get hungry until later in the afternoon. So I had, um, I just got like a, basically a burger and just took all the bread and stuff off and just ate the, the cheese and the meat. Had water all day, tons and tons of water, probably the most water I've drank in a long time. And... Then I went to an event in the evening, which was a little bit more difficult, and I knew I wasn't hungry at all, at all beforehand, and I just thought, okay, well, even if I get hungry, I'll be fine while I'm there, and the only thing they had there that was anywhere remotely close to the diet were some peanuts, which I was super thankful for because I did get really hungry. And then the pizza showed up and I was just like, oh my God, okay. And it smelled so good. But even with it smelling good, I was actually quite happy to not have any. And I just had more water and everybody was drinking and they were having pizza and it was all really nice and lovely. And I just found a water fountain and drank water and had a few peanuts just to have a little bit of a snack. So I felt better. And it was totally fine. So that was actually really successful. So again, I've passed kind of another test at just going to an event and seeing how I get on. Got up this morning. Um, I have weighed myself. I know I said I wasn't going to, but it was stressing me out. And I, I keep saying stressing. And I saw some people in the comments saying, oh, you're suffering from anxiety and blah, blah, blah. It's not really anxiety. And maybe when I said I feel out of control, maybe that wasn't the right way to say it. But it it kind of was at the same time. I'm not anxious over it. It's not. I've had anxiety, proper anxiety, and I know what that's like. This is not that. It's just that I just feel like I feel like if I'm not keeping track of stuff, even if I don't really eat that much more, I feel like I'm eating. It's not that I'm eating that much. That's not even the right way to say it either. I don't know how to explain it. I just, I feel like I'm not doing it right. Maybe that's the best way. And I feel like I'm just allowing myself to just do whatever I want. And that's a bad, but that's maybe a better way to explain it. So I kind of feel like that I'm not that I'm just doing what I want instead of doing what I should do. And in my head, the keeping track of everything and doing the right thing are like linked together. And so it's my way of keeping track of myself and calling myself to account because if I have to write it down, then I have to admit that I've done it. Whereas if I'm not writing it down in whatever, then I can sneak off and go and have a candy bar and guess what? No one knows. And if I'm not writing it down, then I can just do it if I want. But if I'm 
absolutely militant about writing every single thing down that I eat all day long, then I have to put the candy bar down on paper. And it's a different sort of, it's like, I don't know, I feel accountable. It's like it, it adds to the accountability to myself. And so if I'm not doing that, then I don't feel like I'm accountable to anyone. I hope maybe that explains it a little bit better. And I've seen some good positive comments from some people who understand exactly what I'm talking about. And I know some other people who don't understand and that's okay. And that's why I'm doing this. I'm trying to explain this. And that's why I do these videos as well, because I want, there could be other people out there that feel the same way and they, maybe they hadn't thought about it. Or maybe you think you're the only one that feels that way, but trust me, you're not the only one that feels that way. So hopefully that explains it a little bit better. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to start weighing myself again. I'm going to start keeping track of my macros and everything again. It's not, I just feel better if I do it. So I do have some macros for today and I have tracked my sleep and my steps and everything again. But um, as I suspected, I have put basically a kilo back on while I wasn't tracking my weight. So instead of my weight going down, it did go up, which is kind of what I felt. It, it's basically water, I think as well, but, um, cause I don't, my body shape doesn't feel any different. My clothes don't really feel like they're fitting too much. I feel softer. Um, and that's usually what happens when I have a, when you have a bit of when, you, when you're retaining more water and you have more water, you feel a little bit softer. It's like when you take creatine, that's what creatine does. It makes your muscles look bigger, but they're just full of water the whole time. So they're not really super hard. They're just bigger. And so you look bigger, but you're not actually bigger and it's just a bunch of water. So um, so that's been interesting, but it it doesn't bother me that the number's higher. It actually makes me feel in a way a little bit better because I know that my instinct was correct. So that's good. It lets me know that I'm kind of in tune with my body still. So that's all right. I haven't been to the gym in over a week. So that's kind of weighing on my mind as well. And I think maybe I'll talk a little bit more about this tomorrow because this is getting on to almost eight minutes already tonight. But it certainly seems that for me personally, I sort of will, I can do the diet and I'll lose a certain amount of weight and I'll get to a point and then my body kind of goes, mm, yeah, okay. And unless I do something like exercise on top of just my normal activity, I tend to just stay stuck there. But what I can do is if I do, you know, if I exercise for a couple of weeks in a row or whatever, I'll lose a couple of pounds, two or three pounds, and then... I'll just sit at that next weight. So it's entirely up to me if <clears throat> if I want to lose weight. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> hmm. Sorry about that. It's entirely up to me if I really want to get the weight off. I just need to go to the gym more. And of course, I'll be able to offset that with, you know, if I train and lift more weights, then I'm going to retain more water and I'm going to build more muscle. And so it's going to change my body shape. But Certainly at the minute, it seems there's a direct correlation to going to the gym, working out, burning those extra sort of, you know, six, 700 calories every day to burn some of the fat. And then I just sort of sit at that next tier. That appears to be what's happening at the minute. So we will see how I get on with that. Um, I had some electrolytes again today as well this morning. The other thing I found with that is, is that... I don't really get on drinking a whole pack of electrolytes. I find that having half of the pack is much better for me. So it gives me the benefit of having the additional electrolytes and it just tops up the little bits that I'm not getting. But it also doesn't cause me to get kind of to retain too much water and to like I don't actually feel really good and I feel kind of bloated when I have it. So but if I have half, then that seems to work better. So those are the thoughts that I've had over the past couple of days and what's been going on. Uh, mentally feeling a lot better from the 
the issues that I had last week. So that's helped seeing a bunch of friends last night and, and having some good conversations was really good. Um, and I enjoyed that. And I'm going to keep doing more of that, but I'm still not 100%. So that's it for tonight. Thanks, everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.